This view of the brain, with one half removed, having been cut mid-sagittally, gives us an excellent opportunity to observe and explain the three-tiered organization of the cranial base. Starting with the anterior cranial fossa, which is the roof of the orbit, as we can identify it here, with most of the bone having been removed. So the roof of the orbit becomes the floor, so to speak, of the anterior cranial fossa, which is filled by the orbitofrontal cortical areas here. And then the middle cranial fossa is filled by the temporal pole of the hemisphere. This is the petrous ridge. As we move posteriorly and inferiorly, we enter posterior cranial fossa, which is occupied by the cerebellum and the brainstem. As we have just moved inferior to the tentorium cerebelli, which would be here at this plane. So let us observe the cut edge of tentorium cerebelli, once again demonstrating the fact that the cerebellum and the brainstem are below it, and the occipital lobe is above it. This is a clinically relevant designation as well, as many clinicians may refer to a dysfunction of cerebellum and brainstem simply as a posterior cranial fossa lesion. To summarize, we have just gone through the three-tiered organization of cranial base and portions of the brain in relation to it. Once again, recognizing the anterior, the middle, and the posterior cranial fossae.